little outdoor chat. We're doing a live live streaming from outside of my apartment. And uh, the weather is warm. I'm in a good mood. Are you in a good mood? Hey, Brendan. And uh, it's happy Monday. It's actually April Fool's Day, but I'm not going to do any April Fool's jokes because you get a little overkill. I, I don't like an April Fool's joke because I like don't like falling for them. I'm, I might like doing it, but then I feel bad, and then I get scared that someone's going to do one on me, and so forget about it. Uh, okay, so Rum Jack was watching one of my older videos. I'm writing a book called The Secrets of Dating Older Women, and I'm on a chapter which is how to prepare for an older woman in terms of like physically and mentally. I thought, well, maybe I should go into that because that really is a very important piece to what older women are looking for in a younger guy. For example, or a guy of any age, actually. The most important thing is confidence. And you can't have confidence if you don't look good and you don't feel good. So, I mean, you don't have to be like extraordinarily freaking handsome or rich or uh, you don't have to be in tremendous shape. You just need to be the best you can be for you. So if you're just joining me, my name is Karen Lee. Uh, I'm an older woman, obviously. And uh, I've been doing this for quite some time, doing live streams for several years, but uh, doing standalone videos and all these things. And I just did, a, I just really released a video called The Bald Man in Confidence. And I thought, well, why don't we talk about this? Because so many people get so concerned about things like, oh, I'm balding, so that's why I'm unattractive to women. But that's not what the case is at all. Um, so I thought, well, let's talk about that. Uh, if you're bald, for example, is it really bothering you? And if it is, what are you going to do about it? I guess the most important thing is that you have to feel good in your own skin. So if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And of course, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, but obviously you have. Let's see, you look so young, love the glasses. Thank you, Brent. Uh, and hi to all the people here. So Rum Jack, which one of the older videos were you watching? John, uh, great videos, always have been feeling it ill recently and your video has helped cheer me up. Woohoo! Anytime I can cheer someone up, I say, yay. So let's see, ah, we're back again. Uh, from watching your video content, I can tell Karen really loves the male body. Yes, I do. Uh, Brendan was going to withdrawal. Here I am again. Okay. So, um, been balding since, since what? I'm 62 now. See, the bald thing, hair is just like an accessory like anything else. And if you, like, if you're balding, nobody cares because... It's just a natural aging process. What is important though, is that you make it look good. So if you're balding and it's like you have the comb over and that kind of stuff, that looks like shit. And it's obvious that you're trying to cover something up. So you're probably better off just shaving the whole damn thing. Um, but I also, I'm including grooming with this whole thing. You know, I think much more of a turnoff to me is someone who has yellow, icky, brownish teeth than someone who's balding. I mean, to me, I would rather be with that confident guy who's, you know, so he's, he shaves his head or he just keeps it short or whatever. That does is, you know, think of The Rock or any of the other, like, really hot guys out there. They have no problem walking around with a bald head, right? Uh, let's see what's going on. Hey, Pete. Uh, thank you for asking about my parents. They are doing better. This is why I'm in a good mood. Uh, say hi. Let's see. Um, this, okay, so I'm I'm... Gonna just say hi to as many people as I can. Charles, Emery, Rumjack, Jeremy, uh, Power, Music, ah, Randy, Trevor, Brent, uh, John, John, uh, even Sullen, Big Tow. Uh, if I haven't said your name, let me know. Chris, and let's see. Da, 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 da. What's my mate? What, what do you like most about the male body? What's your favorite part of the male body? Um, probably the brain of the male body. I like the way men think, but I also love, um, I like a guy's eyes, smile. Uh, those are important to me. You know, I think eyes are really, like someone who has a good sense of humor and can show it with their eyes, that's super important to me. Uh, it's less important that you have like, you know, 
big biceps or anything. I mean, yes, is it a turn on to have someone that's in really good shape? Yeah, but that's not going to do it for me. Um, it's, it, it, it's much more important that the person is a kind, intelligent, fun loving, um, trustworthy, um, has good ethics kind of person. But like, again, I'm, I'm doing more, of, I'm doing the outside right now. So I'm talking more about like grooming, make sure you have, you know, you're all groomed all the way up and from your head to your toes, you know, make sure your fingernails are, are clean and, and like trimmed. No one wants someone to touch you if you've got like dirty, gross fingernails, you know? Uh, let's see, the hair fits you, looks great. Uh, I'm in my uh, vacation mode now, uh, right now. No, I don't know. I don't know why I'm wearing a hat today. Just I was like, I'm sitting outside. I need to do, do a little sunblock. Uh, let's see. Talk of Texas, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. If you're a laid back guy, uh, just make sure you're still grooming and taking care of yourself. Both fit. Like if, if I saw someone on the outside that looks all disheveled, dirty, holy, you know, torn clothing, you know, shoes that look like you just came from a bar, you know, it's dirty, stained, look to yourself. I think to myself, this person doesn't really care a lot about themselves and I don't want someone who's not confident and gives a shit about that. You, you, you have one machine, right? Your machine, your body. Say you have this one phenomenal Porsche, you're not gonna let it go to shit. You're gonna keep it with good, you're gonna keep it clean, you're gonna wash it, you're gonna, Make sure it's got some good wax on it and uh, and it, it functions well. You're not going to let it go to shit because it's the only force you have, right? Do I get jealous? You know, I when I first started dating my boyfriend, I used to be a little bit on the jealous side when he wasn't paying attention to me because he has a like he, he's very easily uh, amused by other people, uh, and if if he would leave me for a while and go up and talk to a bunch of people after a while, I'd be like, I don't know if the jealousy is or just annoyed that I have to uh, be by myself all the time at parties and things like that. Now I don't really care. You know, now I'm confident in myself. When he's going to talk to his people. I'm talking to my people and then we'll meet up at some point. But I definitely had my moments where I was like jealous of his attention going to someone else, not really jealous of like another woman. I have so much confidence in myself that I feel like if, my boyfriend, for example, wanted to go with another woman, go, I'll find someone else. I mean, I want to be with someone who only wants to be with me and vice versa. I don't know if that makes sense to any of you, but let me know what you think. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't read off all the names here on Instagram too. I forgot about you guys. Um, thank you for all the compliments and hi to all of you on Instagram. And you open, send you a come note. I don't know what that means. CK85, good afternoon. Not in a normal indoor. I know, I'm not, I just decided to get out of it. Uh, P, you had a dance venue, took your advice on asking lady after lady after lady to dance. The seventh lady couldn't wait to dance with me. We had a great night together. I got her number saying good night. Yeah, ooh, people are actually taking my advice. That's awesome. Pete, glad that was work for you, you guys. If you want to uh, learn by example, learn by Pete. Just, it is a numbers game. So if you're the one that's confident, walking up to people and asking you if they want to dance, most likely eventually you're going to find women that are going to want to dance with you, as opposed to you sitting in the corner with a beer going, oh, I'm too embarrassed to go up and ask to dance with them. I'm going to make a fool of myself. You're not going to make a fool of yourself. Trust me, if you can move your body from side to side, you won't make a fool of yourself. I guess you can't say hello to new viewers. I am saying hello, Garland. Hi. I, I must have missed you earlier. I apologize. Uh, all right, let's see. Don't be passive aggressive like that. Say, hey, you missed me. And then I'll be happy to say hi to you. I, I say hi to everybody. I'm an equal opportunity hi sayer. Uh, what would be the age range could older mother be with? There is no age range. Age, age is a number, so don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> where was I? You're pretty clean cut, Karen. Good to hear that, John. Uh, Karen, the awesome one. You guys are killing me here. Uh, I love watching videos and seeing these posts. You're great. Thank you, ZYSK44. What do you like about them? Um, are you watching them on Instagram or YouTube? I've been doing inst YouTube since 2012. Instagram stories I've been doing um, in the last few years. 
I would say the last two to three years I've been doing Instagram stories. And some of them are, are really embarrassing and funny and I don't care. And I think if you guys like that, let me know. I, I don't put on any accent. I, I mean, it's just, I'd like to be me. I got to be me. All right, what was I? How many threesomes have you had, Karen? Sell on Big Time. You always ask obnoxious questions, and I don't even know why I read them out loud. Uh, let's see. Uh, where are we going here? Thank you for these little smiley faces on Instagram. So, ZYSK44, which videos do you like? And anybody here can answer that. Which videos do you watch and like? And if there's anything you like more, do you like the polls? I, I do a lot of questions and polls about people. Recently I've asked, um, and, and you can do it again on Instagram and uh, here on YouTube. Let me know the three songs that you love to have a romantic, sexy evening to. Uh, let's see, Steven with a PH, Karen Lee, Stephen Living's here from Louisiana. I'm dating a lot of ladies over 50 in New York City, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and Miami. You're hitting all the hot spots there. Uh, do I have patron? Of course I have patron rent. You're trying to lead me into saying it? All right, I'll be led into saying it. Patreon.com slash Karen Lee. So you can support me both there and on my podcast. So if you haven't joined me on Patreon, Go for it. I put exclusive content there. You get certain bonus um, podcast episodes on my Sex Talk with My Mom podcast page for Patreon. By the way, there's a challenge going on that I will eat a, mar a marijuana, a blueberry that's infused with marijuana um, with and do a podcast with my son uh, if we get 50 Patreon members. So that's pa patreon.com slash sex talk with my mom. Uh, we've been challenged. And of course, it's legal here to do that in California, just in case you're wondering if it's legal or not. It's legal. So it's, I'll put it right here too. Patreon.com slash Karen. Great. Okay. What other questions or comments do you have about what we were talking about or anything else? Gotta love older women who loves black, uh, older, beautiful blonde woman who loves bald guys. I, I mean, it's not that I love bald guys. I just don't discriminate against bald. I think if you are bald, that's great. If you got hair, that's great. It's not gonna affect me one way or the other. What affects me is if you don't wash your hair or if it looks gross and it has dandruff and stuff like that, make sure you take care of that shit. That's like, I mean, I can be very superficial. If I see a guy that doesn't brush his teeth or missing teeth or they're yellow, and I'm not gonna wanna touch that person. When, let's see, when it's time to get sexy only Thanks, and natural will do. Really, rum jack. You like the older crooner. Uh, let's see, Garland. I'm from Morrow, Ohio, near Cincinnati. Cool. Uh, Michael, I'm not bald, but I'm a baller. Ha ha. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I don't really understand uh, some of these comments, so if I don't, just clarify. Like five. MNT video you. I don't know what that means. You will open no. I don't know what that means. Uh, sorry. If I miss you. Here, just uh, rewrite the comment. When can a man be aggressive or nasty talk with older woman? Little Ralphie. Um, certainly, I would start out not being aggressive or nasty, but you, I mean, it, that kind of thing is more of like a dance and it's also communicating. So if you're really vibing with this person, you should be able to talk about what you like and what you don't like and just feel her out. Hey, well, how do you feel about talking nasty or, you know, what, how do you feel about um, spanking? You know, be clear and make sure that if you guys have decided to go that route, that you have safe words, things like that. So you don't have any miscommunication. All that stuff is great. Just communicate about it. Broccoli, when is your book coming out? I know, I know. I've been writing my book for like a year. <laughs> and I keep talking about it every time here on the live streams. And, I, and it's just, it. every time I get into a chapter, I start reworking it and re-editing and re-editing. And I probably should just throw it out there and have it all be, I mean, I'm trying to get comments from YouTube and it's, it's getting to be like more difficult. Plus I'm doing my podcast and plus I'm doing live appearances. By the way, you guys, I'm going to be putting up my appearance on Second City's main stage. 
uh, where we talked about virginity stories with, and we had uh, the players from Second City in Chicago there. So stay tuned for that. Again, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already to Girl Sex Talk if I'm out of mine here on Lee Love so that you don't miss that because it's really funny. Uh, we asked in three words, can you describe your first sexual experience, like first time losing virginity? And we had some funny, funny answers. And I talked about mine too. Uh, again, not sure what this means. Job, you, five months, okay, 35000 I don't know what that means, but if you want to send me $35,000 to Patreon, go ahead. Patreon.com slash currently. <laughs> Oh, Brendan, you cannot wait for my book. I know. What about uh, Little Ralphie? What about talking with double meanings? Again, Little Ralphie, I'm not, I'm like a straight shooter, and a lot of older women are straight shooters. We don't like to play games. If you want games, play them with the little girls. But women that are my age, if you want to talk dirty and you want to do all that kind of stuff, just say it. Don't don't beat around the bush, so to speak, with the double entendres. I love a woman who could, who could, who could sing jazz songs or likes good jazz songs. I love a woman who could sing jazz songs. Even what does this mean? Um, you're the most beautiful woman I've seen, but not ever. Just confidence, charisma makes you. you most beautiful woman I've seen, but not ever. Just confidence, charisma makes you a very sexy, beautiful person. Thank you, Brent. Ryan, Karen, I usually put in an effort when building connections, but I don't get it recipro reciprocated. I'd like your thoughts. Looking to check the sex life, sex talk with your mom podcast soon. Yeah, please do. Write a review if you like it on iTunes. Uh, it's, it's a fun thing to listen to. Like if you're commuting somewhere, you can uh, have a really good laugh because my son and I talk about pretty much everything you're not usually supposed to talk about with your parents. So we try to break down those barriers and talk about stuff that typically doesn't get talked about. Uh, like we're interviewing someone this week on Peggy. So it should be a fun one. Um, but with the, wait, so I'm going to go back to your question here uh, about uh, you put the effort into building connections. But um, Ryan, I, I believe you get to keep going with it. I don't know how much time and effort you put in, but it is like it's hard to get a good connection. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be like totally blissfully happy all the time. But it's hard to find someone you're physically and emotionally uh, or mentally connected with. And so... Just keep working at it. Keep being yourself. Keep being honest and open and talking. And things are going to happen. But it just doesn't happen overnight. Garland, I like older women. And I, uh, you're younger than me. You must be older than my niece, like, who is 49. And I'm going to be 52, April the 11th. So happy early birthday to me. Happy birthday. I'm not sure what the, all that meant, but it's cool. And again, 5MNTU. I do not know what these mean. Nobody's making sense here on Instagram. Uh, how was my weekend? My weekend, uh, it was great. You know what I mean? It was great. I don't really remember what I did. That means it was great. Uh, is it true women decide if they will sleep with you within a few minutes? Um, I would say that they're going to decide within a few minutes if they're not going to sleep with you, for sure. Uh, but it, if I think within a few minutes... You, they're, you're not going to get a full picture. You really might need to be yourself and let the person know who you are, um, and then she might decide. I'm not a big believer in women are just going to go home with someone after a couple minutes. No, at least I wouldn't. I, I actually, I, I know that I require a little bit more understanding of who I'm with before I go home with them, that's for sure. It's, it's too dangerous out there if you don't. Poodle Susan, how are you? Is it, thank you for that. Is it, you look gorgeous as always. Uh, Karen, what's your latest sex show that I'm all about? Oh, cool, Susan. Uh, we are, we just did the Second City live. Uh, and I believe we did a morning after show that's out today that's really funny. So morning after shows on Sex Talk with My Mom is where we talk about uh, questions and comments from the weeks before. And you guys can call in and leave messages on voicemail and you just put in your phone, yes, text mom. I could put it down here too. And I need to guess, text. <laughs> and if you yes, text mom, you can call leave a voicemail or you can uh, leave a text message. Uh, let me know uh, 
what you liked or didn't like or what you want us to talk about or talk or your opinion about something we did talk about already. Let's see. Um, I must have missed a lot here. Brady Williams, I usually like slow jams more than like an old school head. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to be 33 this year on September 12th. All right, Stephen, happy almost birthday. All right, actually half birthday. Do you have any stories like a group of guys come up to a group of your friends and you are all like the guys and you all like the guys? Yeah, for sure that has happened. I definitely um, have been with a group of women and then there's a group of guys and we all started talking to each other, for sure, very often. And uh, food with Susan, I'm great, thanks. Uh, I hear you take on that big old job at my house. I told you, I'm, wait, wait. I want to hear your take on that big, uh, wait a second. I want to hear your take on, this is going to be good, that big blow up at my house I told you about. Oh, I thought you said blow job. <laughs> Sorry about this, Susan. Uh, I, I can't remember. Give me some feedback on the on the blow. Oh, right, right, right. People were like ridiculous. That is a good, Re rephrase it down below and I'm going to read it because I don't want to screw up the story, but I will definitely give you my take on that. Pete Walsh, thank you for the $10 super chat. That is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys, he, Pete has super chatted me a number of times already. I really appreciate it. Super chats are right here. If you go to the bottom, there's a little dollar sign. You can super chat me like a couple dollars if you enjoy these live streams and I'll keep doing them. And I will also answer your questions first. So the confident male cannot go wrong with your advice. I had a good experience with Dirty Talk. I'll share after this post. I ran out of space on this chat. Oh, okay then. Um, Pete, share away, please. I want to hear about um, your good experience with Dirty Chat. Um, I had some funny experiences with Dirty Chatting when I was single. One time I was dirty chatting in one room, and I didn't realize that my son was able to see these communications in another room. I don't know how it worked that way on the, the computer, must have been linked or something to my laptop and went into the other computer and he was like, what the hell is going on here? So I blamed it all, I'm like, oh, some rando was just texting me, but it was, I mean, my son actually believed it, or probably doesn't believe it. Um, not the one I do my podcast with, this is my younger son, so at the time he was much younger, but it, that it, it is kind of like, Scary, you gotta be very careful when you do stuff like that. Uh, do you know a good toy I can use for my new lady? She likes them. Yes, Brent, I do know of a very good toy. Um, go to, oh, here we go. Uh, there's a link in the description box on YouTube. So if you go there, and there's, it's, I think it's uh, Lilo, yeah, no, yeah, you go to Lilo.com, L-E-L-O.com, and if you use my link, which is in the description box, you can look for uh, any of the really uh, great toys that they have, either like a small little one like this, which is the Nia by Lilo, or any of the bigger ones that have like both stimulators. And if you use, I think it's, yes, Karen L. P. at uh, 15 at checkout. Karen L. P. At 15 at checkout. Karen LP15 at checkout, you get 15% off. But the link will be in the description box below. And definitely let me know if you have any other questions. I would be happy to answer them. And I definitely will get a referral fee if you guys go there. So go there. Uh, let's see. I'm losing people on Instagram because I keep ignoring it. Sorry about that. Please answer you. What is your question? Uh, how are you? I'm great. Uh, let's see. Chat rooms are they all about? Do you know? Okay, so hopefully that helps. Anyway, um, any other questions for today? Because uh, I'm gonna wrap this little live stream up. So once again, thank you guys all for joining me here. What's this saying? Great, thank you. I wanna hear your take on my, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulo Susan, definitely. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Let me know um, what that story was again. Ralphie and I would just say. 
Okay. Um, uh, as I was making out with my lady, I could tell she was turned on. So I said to her in her ear in a soft voice, can I talk dirty to you? And she said into my ear in a sexy voice, yes. There you go. You asked permission. She said yes. Awesome. Love it, Pete. Uh, are you going to see new Elton John movie entitled Rocket Man? Because it's his latest con last concert. Tour. I'm totally going to see that movie. I cannot wait. I just saw Elton John. It was great. Totally understand. No hurry, but it seems like I'm getting in the same scenario. So I'm trying to adjust or do less as I go. Oh, regarding Ryan putting out more effort and not getting as much back. Um, just, just take your time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, just keep working it. You guys know here, especially if you've been here for a while, that uh, that it takes some time. You know, you have to learn all these lovely little advice ideas, and then it'll work. What what is the Karen Lee promo code? Okay, let me get you the Karen Lee promo code. Hold on one second. Da, 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 da. Um, Pretty sure, pretty sure it's Karen Lee. Karen, let's see, what is it? Um, okay, let's see if I can find it right here for you guys. Promo code is, what is the promo code? And I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, nope, this is an old promo code. Uh, it's Karen L, all right, Karen LP15, I believe. Uh, that's at lilo.com or go to um b i t h t t b b i t dot l y slash two i don't know l k s q r o you have to go look on the um description box here on youtube and i'll i think that'll help anyway oh it's getting loud out here here has anyone serenaded you on a date to sing to my date but i haven't done it in four months i like to sing to my dates oh yeah definitely you should, if you have a good voice, you want to sing, you know, everyone's going to love that for sure. And all right, I have to run. Thank you all for, um, for your input here. And if there's anything I could do and any questions that you have or any topics you want to discuss, put them in the description box below, either on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you see me. And I'm going to fix up these, um, peace out. I'm going to fix up these uh, promo codes. If you want to go to, uh, I think it's Karen LP15. Um, yeah. Oh, for the summary, Poodle Susan. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I missed your summary. I just, let me see if I can go find that. Because I'm sure it took me a while I'm wrong to, to read it again. I had to write it again, and now I'm leaving. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Let's see if I can find it. There's just too much stuff going on here. Um, I think it's way easier, uh, Poodle Susan, if you put it down below here, okay? I, I gotta run and love you all. Bye. Okay. I'll for now. <laughs>